So I'm here with Caleb Miller. He's a member of the uh, Lower Columbia Baseball Club. Also a member of the Napa High School baseball team that just won uh, their second title back-to-back. -back, um, third in four years, actually, for the school. So uh, kind of walk me through your experience with uh, the championship run this year and last year. Um, it was uh, mainly just uh, fit really well together as a team. And uh, we have a great coach, and we just focus on little things in practice and throughout the year. And that's just really what we are about is having fun and focus on little things and doing the right things. Now, if I understand, you actually had a, a home run in the uh, in the tournament, uh, right th in the championship game. What was that like to uh, be at you know Salem Kaiser, the Volcano Stadium, and, and hit that shot? Uh, it was, I mean, it's once in a lifetime. I mean, I, it really is. So, I mean, it's pretty amazing just uh, you know getting to touch all four and one at bat. It's pretty cool. And then you know here you are this summer, kind of working on your game a little bit. What are something you're something you're focusing on this this summer to? Uh, help you as you go into to next year? Um, just solid contact at the plate, getting deep into counts, and uh, um, catching your eyes, just making sure you keep everything in front of me and get everybody out that I can. And then next season, you are committed to play for, for Clark Community College. Tell me, kind of went into the decision-making process to go down there and to uh, play for that program? Um, well, I, I really uh, really got along with uh, Coach Maggs really well down there. and um, Just love the place, and... Uh, yeah, it's just a great program, and I've seen what he's done in the past, and want to be a part of it. So, yeah, they've actually had some uh, some pretty good years the last couple of years, it seems like. So, but also, you know, we're out here for for this at this level, and you've obviously won two state titles. Kind of look at what has been your inspiration, and who's kind of been your motivator um, over the years to make you the best player you are, and kind of help you get to this point. Um, my dad, big time. I mean, he's pushed me pretty hard, and uh, I'm thankful for it. But. Uh, also kind of just what I've gone through in the past and trying to prove people wrong my whole life. And I mean, here I am and still proving people wrong, so it's pretty cool. It's always nice to kind of uh, show the doubters that you're better than they think that you are. So um, also kind of looking at, you know, a lot of players who are younger will sometimes look at major league players, kind of see a player that they want to not necessarily copy, but kind of mimic their work ethic. Is there a major league player that you've kind of looked at and said, you know, I, I like to be in that same type of mold as, as him? Um, for my where I'm at, uh, worth that is why it would be uh, Buster Posey. I mean, that guy works hard, and I mean, he swings about really well. And I mean, defensively, Audi is amazing. So I mean, everyone wants to be him. So I mean, that's another guy you look up to. Yeah, absolutely. And then last question I got for you. I mean, here you are at this level. You're going on to play college ball. Um, what advice do you have for you know younger kids in the little league that they kind of want to follow in that same path? They want to play high school ball, be successful, and then go play college. Uh, just make the right decisions on and off the field and work as hard as you can during practice and during games. Just make yourself better and don't compare yourself to others. Just try to beat who you are every day. Be better. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.